Mike Swimman here giving you guys a video. In today's video, we are going to go over the best hitting stances that are in this game that you can use for your cap. Or other words, a uh, creative player, of course. Okay, um, guys, I gotta tell you these three stances. Now we're gonna do different categories, okay? So hold on, okay? We got three categories. We got the best switch hitting stance, the best right-hander stance, and the best lefty stance, okay? I got to tell you, these three stances are, in my opinion, what I have used that have done really phenomenal for me that I encourage you guys to try out. But I will always say this with factual sense, okay? If you have a stance that you're working, you're slugging, you're hitting a thousand of average or whatever, hitting ding-dongs, stay to that stance. What? Okay, but other than, otherwise, try out my stances. They hit ding-dongs too. Okay. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's go over to our right-handed stance, which is Mike Napoli. All right, guys. So our first hitting stance when it comes to the right-handed batter side is none other than Mike Napoli. So Mike Napoli, if you guys are you young guns, you uh, you guys are this new generation, don't know who Mike Napoli is. Mike Napoli was a Texas Ranger, and man, and also a Red Sox too. Can't forget the Red Sox nation too. Um, and he hit bombs. He hit bombs as right-handed hitter. And I gotta tell you, man, this stance, he's a new guy last year that swing man, my cap started using it. And he's actually my default stance that I use for the switch side. Um, I've always used this stance and it has done nothing but wonders for me. Cause you know why? It's easier to time. Um, it's really easy to time with the load and everything. And I'll show you what it is. Um, when it comes to the stance, all you gotta do is go to uh, former players under Mike Napoli. That's what I chose right there. Boom, bada beam, bop, bum. Yeah. All right, um, when it comes to the the, the, the motion, okay, um, when it comes to the swing type, he does have a sort of a semi-long swing. It's still kind of short. Um, you could mess around with it, but I keep the swing because of this reason that it, it just, it works. And here's why, okay? When you go to the stride, okay, usually with the stride, how he, his hands come down then up, usually when his hands start coming up that's when you should start your swing and usually believe it or not i've had so many perfect perfects because uh the timing was pretty easy okay okay uh, but other than that i mean it was pretty good the animations i kind of added i did my own thing but i mean the timing is pretty sick well let's go ahead and i'll show you the swing over in practice right now let's go all right, guys, so when we come over the practice, literally, I'm using Brandon Donovan. I edited his stance, but as you can see, he's got the Napoli stance. And what I like to do personally is you're trying to time that load. As soon as those hands come up from that leg kick right here, boom, you swing. And I got to tell you, it's the easiest timing ever, dog. And I got Brandon Donovan needs to hit more of the weight room, but at 40 power hitting the freaking warning track already, freaking phenomenal, dog. Freaking phenomenal. But what you're trying to do is you're just trying to time that that low when his hands go down then up that's when you right when it comes up dude that's when you start your swing so you're here boom easy easy man now granted it's right down the middle but i'm telling you even no matter where it's at that's how you gotta time it dude and i gotta tell you it's freaking sweet it's an easier load to time um it's one of my easiest loads to time um, and it's my personal favorite stance that i personally use now this is the best right-handed swing because Napoli was a right-hander, but I'm using it for Donovan since he's left. Um, I'm using it a lot easier, um, but here, easier to time with. Easy right-handed swing, probably the best right-handed swing I can probably go with um, in the game. Uh, I use it as a switchy. Highly recommend you guys try out Mike Napoli's right-handed swing, especially for a righty, because Napoli, they actually have the Napoli, the dual freaking rakes, let's just be honest, okay? All right, guys, so that's it for the right-handed swing. Let's go over our left-handed swing. All right, when it comes to the left-handed swing, I had a debate between two guys uh, when it came to the left-handed swing. I mean, obviously, we're going to say that Griffey's the GOAT, and he has the greatest lefty swing, but I don't want to be too biased, and I don't want to be too, you know, towards Griffey because we all know he's the greatest, so I kind of change it up a bit, but... It was between Seeger and Cedric, and Sir Cedric. Uh, I will say that Cedric won it because uh, when it comes to Cedric, his timing is a lot better than Seeger's, even though Seeger's is pretty good too. I highly recommend you guys try out Seeger's. But Cedric, dude, 
I gotta tell you, when it's left on left or right on left, Cedric always comes through, no matter what it is, man. I've, I've used his card um, in BR, in the ranked seasons. It's always come through. I've always had a high average with Cedric, and especially when you got a guy that's got Chapman on the mound, Cedric, lone inside slide piece, cranked out 100%. Guaranteed 450 feet to right center, easily, okay? All right, so when we go over his motion here, um, his swing type is pretty um, pretty quick, pretty semi-quick. He's got that semi-quick kind of release, and he's a one-handed swing. Um, when it comes to his stride, he has something similar to Napoli's, but it's a lefty style, okay? So you notice the hands go up or down and up. That's usually when you time it, is right when those hands come up, that's when you usually time that swing, and with the leg coming down, of course. But... Not only that, I mean, dude, I'm telling you right now, this swing literally crushes anything. It'd be an outside pitch, he crushes it away. It's low and inside, though. I will say this that low and inside pitches are his best pitches. So if you're a pitcher thrown to this guy, lay off the low and inside pitch. I'm telling you, I'm doing you a solid because he's going to hit a ball freaking 475 feet. I know I said 450, but dude, low and inside, he crushes baseballs. Okay, so now like that, okay, so now we got the swing and we got the low. Let's go over and show you guys a little bit in practice. All right, guys, when it comes to practice, here we go. We got Cedric versus Zach Wheeler on the mound. Um, obviously, you can tell as soon as that load comes into place, you want to really time um, those hands coming down and up. Usually when the hands come up, that's when you smack it, just like that. Perfectly timed. I mean, it is down the middle, but I'm telling you, man, anywhere in the zone, that's the exact load you gotta go with, man. It's so easy. All you gotta do is time it, and boom. Smack City, dog. I'm telling you, Cedric Mulligan is the card to have for a lefty. You're looking for a guy that's just a lefty for your cap? Dude, I'm telling you, Cedric's the man. He is the man. This stance can also work as a switch hitting stance as well. I'm just telling you guys this as the best lefty swing to go with. You know, especially if you guys want to have a dominant side. I mean, if you just want a lefty hitter or just a righty. Lefty hitter, by far, I got to tell you, other than Griffey, is Cedric Mullington here. But guys, this is our lefty swing. Let's go over the last and final swing. Our switch, best switch hitting swing. None other than Chippa Jones. All right, so the last and final swing, the best switch hitting swing ever. And I think everyone kind of knows that. This is the best swing, the best switch hitting swing. I mean, if you if you don't you disagree, well, uh, I don't know what else to tell you, dog, because Chipper Jones is the best switch hitting swing ever. Unless they come out with Carlos Beltran, I, still, he's, Chipper Jones got it. Okay, I will say that, you know, uh, Brian Reynolds' swing is pretty nice too, okay? He, he's got a pretty good swing, but I mean, when it comes to Jones, dude, Jones switch hitting swing is OP. It, it, it is OP. If you got the timing down, that ball is out. I, I mean, just hands down. Chipper Jones is literally a god when it comes to the timing in this game. I mean, he is. He is. It's like the the show gods definitely bless the swing when it comes to uh, hitting perfect perfects. So let's just say it that way. Okay. So when you go to this swing, obviously you go to former players. Okay. You go to former players. All right. It's going to be under Chipper Jones. It's not Chipper Jones 2008, even though that one's pretty good too. But, you know, it's just Chipper Jones, okay? But what you're going to do, I mean, obviously, you know, when you look at the swing, swing almost looks similar to uh, to actually uh, Napoli's when it comes to, like, the, the long swing and all. And all. Um, I will say, even though it's a long swing, it's a lot, it's a better swing because, here's why, is because of the load. The load is easy because he has a toe tap, okay? When you come to the stride, he has like a little bit of toe tap. You see, he's got that toe tap action. So as soon as that toe, as soon as you touch, boom, and as soon as he strides out, boom, that's when you usually swing, okay? That toe tap, I will say, kind of looks exactly like how uh, Troy Tulowitzki's was a couple of years back. on right now, Troy Tulowitzki, that swing was goaded, being honest. Goaded, goaded, okay? But, you know, when it comes to switch hitting, uh, you know, Chipper Jones, uh, this swing is saucy, dude. I mean, this swing, this swing will demolish outliers. Stop it. Uh, cut outliers, it will do it all. So without further ado, though, let's go over to our, uh, to our practice mode. We're gonna use Tommy Edman as using Chipper Jones' stance so you guys can kind of get a live look at what 
it looks like in practice all right boys here we go so here's the here's the stance we've been waiting for tommy edmund using chipper jones's stance and as you can tell first pitch perfect perfect it's an easy stance to time you just gotta get that toe tap down first once you get that toe tap down i mean dude it's just nothing it's just nothing but perfect perfects from here on out now i granted i am throwing inside or down the middle i know i know one of y'all is gonna be in the comment section saying well it's right man it's easy to time it when it's right down the middle <laughs> you know well dude i'm just saying this is just for content reasons showing you what the swing looks like but anywhere in the zone it's the same timing that you should use is definitely the toe tap you get the toe tap down we're in business but i'm, I'm just saying guys i mean this this stance if you're getting a good stance for your creative player this is the stance to have man it really is it's the it's the go to some swings best switch hitting swings other than brian reynolds brian reynolds is pretty nice it's the best switch hitting swing you could ever have ever bro i mean i'm telling you this 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 stance ranks okay all right so i gotta tell you man chipper jones if you do not have this uh this uh swing in your cap definitely highly recommend you try it out okay we're you know we're not guaranteed uh maybe you know let's go you know we're gonna go we're gonna go ballsy on this one we'll say this it, it will guarantee you a higher batting average of 300 bro that's for sure that's for sure this this stance is nice okay definitely nice all right guys that is it for today's video we went over the three best stances in this game i know like a little bit of donovan i used a left-handed swing for a right-handed stance i just realized that as i was recording this video so don't be i'm sorry about that but still Napoli stands for a right-hander, goaded, okay? You can use that for both left and right. Still, I think it's the best right-hand stance, in my opinion. It works. Uh, I did have Suarez and other guys that were a part of the mix, but Napoli swing, goaded, dog, goaded, okay? And then out of that, we had we had uh, Cedric, who was our left-handed swing, and that card is goaded, too. I love using Sir Cedric of Mullington because he is freaking studly and he hits dongs. Okay, he crushes the ball. And then finally, with the switch hitting freaking idolization of perfect, perfect. Tipper Jones, by far the best switch hitting stance you can have for your cap in this game. I gotta tell you, man, that, 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 that swing is just freaking saucy. I mean, it's so saucy, everyone's trying to get his 99. Let's be honest. You want that 99 card, and you probably choose that 99 card in your BR team. Let's be honest. You're, you're not lying to me on this one. But, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Um, if you also want to see more content on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notifications button so that you guys don't miss any further uploads on this channel. Guys, this is Swing Man. Wishing you guys nothing but perfect perfects and pit point pitching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Love you all.